This video will introduce you to ePortfolios and how they are beneficial to the development of your professional career and the establishment of your digital footprint. As part of this course, you will be required to upload at least three artifacts to your ePortfolio in order to earn a digital badge. And if you are a formal paying participant or a member of the SUNY community, you will also earn a Coursera Certificate of Completion. In the next module, you will learn more about ePortfolios and begin to develop your ePortfolio. In the final week of this MOOC, you will participate in a peer review activity where you will share your ePortfolio to get constructive feedback from your peers. People use ePortfolios to achieve various outcomes. A learning ePortfolio enables someone to demonstrate their learning process and share evidence of their learning. Career ePortfolios include information describing one's experiences, skills, and abilities with the ultimate goal of seeking employment opportunities. A showcase ePortfolio is used to share highlights of one's work. This type of portfolio includes visual examples, but can also include such things as samples of writing, results of scientific experiments, engineering designs, and many other possibilities. The resources in this course include a wide variety of freely available tools that can be used to create ePortfolios and to create media-rich ePortfolio artifacts. By artifacts, we mean pieces of evidence. Evidence of learning progress, experience, achievements, and accomplishing goals over time. ePortfolios are very well suited to display media such as video, audio, and images. A familiar mantra relating to ePortfolios is collect, select, connect, and reflect. These are the processes involved in the collection and organization of ePortfolio artifacts. These activities are not necessarily listed in order since selection is often influenced by the act of reflecting and vice versa. The ePortfolio rubric that is available in this course includes criteria such as organization, ease of navigation, and visual aesthetics to evaluate your ePortfolio. Use the rubric to help you assess the quality of your personal ePortfolio and that of your peers in this course. The ePortfolio you submit in this MOOC should not be viewed as your final ePortfolio. You should continually modify and enhance your ePortfolio so it stays current and serves as a representation of your personal skills, interests, and abilities as you continue to grow and change throughout your life.